Kathy, over to you. Well, they say you feel like family when you walk into this local restaurant with a fun vibe. It was started by a father daughter team and is well known for their delicious wings, family recipes and live music. You know, it's a family passion. Yeah, well, we're headed to Detroit and Harper Woods, where Michelle Oliver is taking us to dine in the D at They Say. They Say? Inspired by the sounds of Motown and an amazing family recipe for barbecue sauce, They Say started with a bang. When Super Bowl was here in, in Detroit, that was our grand opening day. My father, he opened up um, the first location, which is downtown Detroit. So he wanted to bring back the live music and entertainment back into Detroit. You could say the whole family has a thing for music. Listening to it with my parents and my grandparents and aunts and uncles. Michael Jackson, of course, he's our family favorite. <laughs> they say things were going well. So in 2019, they opened their second location in Harper Woods. Speaking of, how did they come up with the name They Say? When, you know, you're asking somebody something or you're relaying a message and you're like, well, they said we're going to meet at the beach or, you know, they said we're going to go here or there, so they say. They wanted to create a relaxed vibe where people could groove to the music. Our feel here is kind of like, you know, a modern day cheers. Have something good to eat and, a, you know, a little small cocktail. Or, you know, if you want to bring your kids out on the weekend, you know, it's a family restaurant. And what is this family owned, family friendly restaurant serving up? We have some mixtures of like soul food, but we also can, you know, jazz it up to a more classical meal. The They Say Wings are one of the favorites and it is a family recipe of the barbecue sauce. Let's take a walk through the menu and we'll start with the opening acts. This is probably their most popular appetizer, the They Say Wings. You can get them tossed in a variety of different sauces, but the classic one is probably the best. This is the They Say Sauce. You can also get these chicken tenders. I love that they're served on these little sticks to keep your hands clean. Moving on, we have these steak bites with caramelized onions and mushrooms. Next, we have these loaded potato skins that are covered in lots of cheese, bacon, and green onions. And if you can't decide which opening act you like best, you can always get this sampler platter. Now for act one, we have Terry's favorite burger. This is named after her father, and it features these delicious crispy onion strings on top. If you're in the mood for something lighter, there is act two's salmon burger. This has a nice remoulade sauce on top, which is kind of like what you would find on a po' boy. Now, moving on to the headliners, let's check out this. Cajun Fettuccine Alfredo. So it's this creamy, Cajun-y spiced sauce on a bed of noodles with grilled chicken on top. Now this dish is beautifully plated. It's their grilled salmon. You can get it either blackened or with a sweet chili sauce on top, and it comes with two sides. Here is their They Say Pork Chop. It is a 10 ounce chop. You can get it either grilled or deep fried. This one is served with some delicious looking mashed potatoes. This is their lamb chops. They're covered in sauce, and you can get them with two sides. Finally, for dessert, if you're a chocolate lover, check out this chocolate cake. They also have this beautiful carrot cake. He's taught and led us well, and I'm just following in his path. Well, Michelle, you know I've got to ask, how were those wings? They were amazing. They're like this perfect blend of like sweet, tangy, a little bit of heat on the end. I, I, they are serious. It is a very, very good recipe for barbecue sauce. Definitely try their wings. Okay, now they're also known for live music. Do they have any playing right now? So right now, not really, because it's not really safe to do so at 25% capacity, but they do plan to open it up again once it's safe to do so. That makes a lot of sense. So, of course, after you look at all that, you want to go get something to eat. How can people enjoy their food? So you can do dine-in, they're open at about 25%, and then you can also do takeout. And they are located, they have, they have two locations. One is in downtown Detroit, kind of by the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater at 267 Joseph Campau. And then the other one is in Harper Woods at 17810 Vernier Road in Harper Woods. Yeah, that's the one that I've been to, the one by the Aretha. 
Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a nice spot. It is. Perfect place to go after you go catch some music. Hopefully we'll be back to that very soon. But now we have to talk yeah. about something which is kind of a big deal. You're starting a Dine in the Dree newsletter. Tell us about it. Yeah, so it's kind of like if you've heard of the buzz and get that sent to you. Basically, it's an email that's going to come to you once every so often. Uh, and it's going to be all about food. It's going to have great food pictures, good ideas of places to eat, maybe a couple cooking tips. I'm going to give you some, some of the behind the scenes conversations I have with chefs. It'll be a lot of fun. It's coming out next Thursday morning. So if you want it, sign up for it now and click on Detroit.com under the newsletters tab. It's right at the very top. Just kind of scroll down a little bit. Okay. Very good. It's super exciting. And you know, another great piece, Michelle. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. And we invite you to join our Dine in the D Facebook group where we would talk about and share all the great places to eat around town. You don't want to miss it. You never know. Michelle might go to your suggestion.